Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you two tips and tricks for WooCommerce. So for the first tip and trick, we're going to go ahead and make it so that when WooCommerce upgrade updated to 3.0, they added these small thumbnails right here and removed them from down here. It used to look something like this. So right now we're going to go ahead and remove them and so they make it look like this again. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go down to our dashboard, okay? And we're gonna make sure that we have a child theme uploaded. And this is very important because you need to not make changes to your main theme as you just need to make changes to your child theme. So right here, when you have your child theme uploaded, we're gonna go and click on editor. And you're going to go on the right hand side and click functions.php. Once you click on that, you're going to have what looks something like this. And most of you aren't going to have anything inside of your functions file, but I currently do. So you're going to add it underneath of the additional functions and then underneath of this bar. And the code is going to look something like this. Okay. And don't worry, there's a link down in the description um, with a file with both of the codes that we're going to add today in this video. So this function is going to remove the zoom and the slider function. And the slider is basically just when you click on the next image, it slides over to the next one and it removes the zoom. Uh, I don't have a zoom on this one, but when you have an image bigger than this, when you hover over it, you can actually zoom the image. If you don't want to remove one of these or the other, then just take it out of the code just like that. It's as simple as just deleting the line that you don't want. So if you want to keep the zoom, delete, then you want to go ahead and delete the zoom line. If you want to keep the slider, um, then you can go ahead and just delete the slider line. So once we do that, we're going to go ahead and update the file. Let's go back to our product and refresh. And there we have it. So now we have our product here to where we can look at the other images and this main image and we are all good to go there. The next tip and trick is going to be replacing this stock placeholder image that uh, WooCommerce adds to your website when you don't have a featured image for your product. So right now what you have to do is create an image that's 450 pixels by 450 pixels. And you can do this in Photoshop, you can do this in any other um, photography editing software or um, anything of that nature. So go ahead and create whatever you want it to look like. Now I've already gone ahead and I've already uploaded my image. So this is just a 450 by 450 with their logo on it. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and copy the code in the document that you downloaded from the description. And you want to go ahead and paste it into the actual functions.php file that we were in earlier doing the, the gallery zoom and the slider. So on this line right here, you're going to go ahead and paste in the link of the image that you just uploaded. It's going to look different than mine because you're going to have your own domain name and your own month, the end year that you've updated it, but in a different name possibly. But go ahead and just paste it right there in between these two, there you go, in between these two quotes. And you're going to go ahead and hit update file. Now once you update the file, we're going to go ahead back to our test product and we're going to refresh it. And there we have our new placeholder image that's going to appear if you never upload a featured image. And this is good for maybe websites that are offering plugins that just want to show the uh, logo of their website instead of the actual plugin image. Or if you're trying to style a big WooCommerce site and your client is going to upload all of the images. Well, you can add this in until they actually upload all of their images so it doesn't look you know out of date or 
just odd with the placeholder image that WooCommerce has. So maybe if they don't get to updating all of the products before you go live, this is a great solution to make it look better cosmetically so that the client can upload the products later down the road. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next one.